From new animals to new exhibits, Albuquerque's Biopark staff is celebrating a successful 2018 and they are busy gearing up for next year. News 13's Francesca Washington is live at the Biopark with a recap of 2018. Francesca? Dean, according to Zeus staff, there were a lot of significant births this year and plenty of milestones to celebrate. There's plenty to see. I saw gorillas, apes, zebras, elephants. At the Albuquerque Biopark. <laughs> 2018 was a year full of new arrivals. Well, we had lots of births this year that uh, were significant births. The zoo welcomed baby hyena sisters Havoc and Ruckus, the first hyena cubs born at the biopark in 31 years. The parents had all these new vocalizations that we had never heard before, so it was a great learning experience for the staff. Baby elephant Thorn was also born in May. They're watching the changes happening. I think everybody's excited when we do have new cubs or, you know, birth here or there, um, or we bring in new animals. The biopark also welcomed three one-year-old cheetah brothers from Texas. Their names are Pinto, Garbanzo, and Borracho. We have nicknamed them the beans. What do you think about the cheetahs? Mm, they're good. 2018 brought plenty of milestones to celebrate. One of the <laughs> oldest animals in the zoo, Gorilla Herafanita, celebrated her 45th birthday. How big is the gorilla? Like twice as, the size of me. Zoo officials say 2018 was a good year for the biopark, and with a baby giraffe on the way and a new penguin exhibit set to open, they're ready for 2019. We get lots of crowds when we open a, a new exhibit or bring new animals in. So they really support us um, uh, throughout the years. Mo the hippo also turned 45 this year and two Tasmanian devils arrived to the biopark in late October. Jean, back to you. All right, Francesca, thank you. The penguin exhibit is set to open next spring.